Welcome to Golf Getaway, and today we're on the Mornington Peninsula, Victoria, Australia, at Moonar Links on the Legends Course. As well as having a solid crack at this friendly golfing experience, we'll also catch up with Hey Hey It's Saturday, local radio man and golfing nut Wilbur Wilde to find out what he's been doing apart from playing golf. We'll get a couple of pro tips and we'll show you how to wannabe legends go on a real legends golf course. Hi there, I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Fay, and welcome to Moonar Lynx, The Legends. Moonar Lynx has two courses. Today we're playing The Legends. This 6,315 metre course generally follows the valleys through a variety of landscapes, ranging from ancient Moonar woodlands to open Lynx land. The fairways are generous and the putting service is gentle and huge but the bunkering style is bold and wild in appearance. And how's this? It's called Legends because every hole is named after a golfing legend, a tribute to their contribution to our great game. Maybe there's one there with my name on it. You're kidding yourself, Fade. <laughs> yeah. The first on the Legends course, the Aaron Badley. <laughs> yeah, appropriate really. We might need some of Aaron's divine intervention this morning. It's a reachable in two, par five, 473 metres. It's a tease for the long hitters. They try and take on that corner, but it's 200 metres to carry. Fate, I reckon you aim at that Moona tree on the left. It's 300 years old, probably about your age, mate. Started early. But when you get up to the green, it's a steep left to right slope, so you've got to go long. Index 14, reasonable easy start to the day. Usual fiddle? You're on. Oh, great putt, Fade. Good start. We're all square. Not bad for an old bloke. Oh, get over it. Our first par three on the legends, the Tom Watson. <laughs> He's a bloke closer to my age, although I will concede his ability is just a tinch better. It's a 162 metre par three stroke eight. Nearest the pin over this wasteland with five bunkers in front. What do you reckon, 10 bucks? <laughs> oh, only just. <laughs> <laughs> the birdie! You got the 10 bucks, I got the birdie! I'll take the 10 bucks any day. The fourth, the shark, and what a tee box! This is considered one of the most spectacular tee boxes on the peninsula. It's fantastic. We're 50 metres up in the air here, overlooking this wonderful looking hole. It's a 324 metre par 4. Dog legs to the left. Big hitters are going to try and cut the corner, but for you, Fade, front of those bunkers on the right with a nice approach in. You can have a crack, eh? I'll have a crack. What a privilege to be playing Greg Norman's hole. Isn't it? Nice shot. You can have it. You choke though, Fade, you choke. How about that tea box? I'm here with Craig McLean, a local pro here in the Mornington Peninsula. Craig, Pauline from Daniloquin, she's having issues 
pitching uphill to an uphill flag, what have you got for me? Well, well there's a couple of things you can do, but um, the most important thing to do is not to try to lift the golf ball in the air. A lot of people in this situation fall back on their back foot and try to lift the ball in the air. Most important thing to do is get into your front foot and hit down on the golf ball with your most lofted club in your bag. That'll pop the ball up in the air. Okay. Show Let me show you. So I've got the ball slightly back of centre, leaning into my front leg, generous backswing, and stop the club relatively low on the way through. You don't, as I said, you don't need that big through swing. So leaning slightly into it, generous backswing. You see the ball popped up. My club stayed nice and low to the ground. I didn't try and lift it. Nice little divot. Okay, one other question. Where am I aiming? Because it's on an uphill flag, where do I want it to land? Well, you want to still land it in line with the flag stick. So you don't need to be aiming to the right or to the left or anything like that. Just straight at the target. Unless there's a bit of wind coming, then you can adjust your body accordingly. And distance, about six, eight foot short or? Yeah, for this three? one, yeah, depending on how far the pin is, but certainly the ball will release a little bit. Okay, I'll give it a try. Okay, so just put the ball slightly back of centre in your stance. Get nice and narrow in your stance so you stay nice and compact. That's it, and make sure your hands are in front of that ball at impact so you're hitting down on the ball. Beautiful. Get in there. Not bad. All right, there Thanks, we guys. go. Well done. With me is radio personality, Hey Hey at Saturday, famous in Victoria, famous all around Australia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Wilbur Wild. Good on you, Sean Fay. Thanks well, for making well, me welcome. Well, welcome to Golf Getaway. Great Beautiful, day. mate. Yeah, terrific. What have you been doing? Well, I play a little bit of golf, you know, um, and play a bit of saxophone, but mainly these days I'm a dietitian and personal trainer, as you can see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shut up. Give me a break. Yeah, it is, isn't it? No, I still play saxophone and golf till the money runs out, mate. And um, just a brief history, I first picked up a club in anger probably uh, in excess of 40 years ago. And I play with a social club uh, on Mondays. We're about 46 Mondays a year. Uh, we play with a fairway club. Uh, I'm a member at the uh, National Golf Club in Victoria, which is just around the corner here. Very and nice. So I, I love it. Um, you have some good scores sometimes. Oh, I'll tell you, look, I, my handicap today is 18. Last Thursday, it was 20. But I, uh, I managed to amass 45 Stableford points on, uh, on the moon, of course, at the Nash. That's and, pretty uh, good. Well, it was a great day out, and I hope we have one today. Tell me, um, what, what, what does golf do for you? Well, my big brother and I were discussing this the other day, and he gets to the point, I can take a year to reach the point, he gets to the point pretty quick. And we stood up on a tee, we were overlooking the ocean, and he said, I reckon golf has saved a lot of men. You know, funny you say that, we play golf around a lot of places in Australia. You're lucky, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we are. It's a great yeah. gig. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one of the things we do notice is, mm. is a, some, some men are a bit grumpy about the game, you know, they, they, they don't relax with it. Well, look, you know, we, I think we go through phases where um, our expectations versus our ability can be a little bit disappointing. But, um, you know, once again, to be out here and appreciate the zen of the game, and I mean, I think it helps to have the concentr oh, like the memory span of a goldfish. You know how they reckon a goldfish can swim around the bowl and three <laughs> seconds later you go, oh, hi. And then it swims around, it goes, oh, hi. I have that. You know, I'll play a bad shot and I'll just go, oh, oh, there's my ball. Let's hit another one. Boys, you know, boys, boys. <laughs> Speaking of grumpy Mirror. old men. <laughs> we resemble that one, mate. <laughs> hey, it's customary on Golf Getaway. We have a nearest the pin competition. Yep. What do you reckon? You up for it? Yeah, sure. Yep. Okay, well we've got a special prize today, Fit39 Golf Club, 3 million have been sold globally, beautiful colours. Yeah, yeah that goes suit well with jersey. this, goes well with the US Open winged foot jersey. <laughs> now, biggest oh, thing man. here, biggest thing about the Fit39 Golf Club is the grip. Now I know you right. get really sweaty, you get really nervous under pressure. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's me. Yeah. yeah well, this Especially when I'm you. doing unsolicited product endorsement. Anyway, keep Absolutely. going. Absolutely. Now listen, <laughs> also great for saxophone playing. You know what? I'll give it a rip later on. No? Right. Well, let's put it on. Fit 39 Golf Club. Sean, you're away first. Good golf shot. I'll oh, get on it. Oh, quality. Well, it was a nail-biting comp, but it looks like Wilbur wins the glove.
This one on the legends is named after the famous South African player, Gary Player. It's a tough hole, the ninth, just before the sandwich. It's a par five, 477 metre hole. Trouble all down the right, all down the left, and even more when the wind blows. And don't go long when you get to the green, because there's trouble for young players there as well. There ain't no trouble there, Fade. Great shot. How the hell did they end up in here? Let's go and have that sandwich so we can be legends in our own lunchbox. Great golf, babe. Great golf. Victorian legend, immortal, and every other word you can think of. This is the Peter Thompson. You kind of fancy yourself the Peter Thompson, don't you? Well, five times British Open winner and Australia's best ever golfer. Yeah, I think I do. No, he was pretty good. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take my cap off and honour a Peter Thompson, my iSeekGolf.com cap. I'm going to poke it in my little back pocket in honour of Peter. All right, well, she's a 491 metre par five. It's got multiple valleys all the way to the green, but the green is blind from the fairway and it's downhill. Away you go, Fade. But Peter! Great shot, Peter. I mean, Fade. Put your hat back on, Peter. I mean, babe. Here we are, the toughest hole on the course, the 13th, the Norman von Nieder, the Queenslander. Hardly a Queensland name, but he was a well-loved legend of Australian golf. It's a 420 metre par four. We've got a blind tee shot. It's very long, so the second shot requires really good club selection, and the green's covered in sand dunes. So, you're either going to be caked in sand, or you're going to have a very long putt. Don't you love it when you're part of the hardest hole? Craig Terry from Tawantan and Noosa, he's written into our Facebook page, he's having issues with his downhill chips. He's scared he's going to overrun it, as, as I do, get yeah. scared myself. And he just wants to know, how, how do you stop the ball? Oh, the, the first thing you do, especially in a situation like this, when there's not much green to work with, use the fringe here to bounce the ball on. Rather than trying to land it on the green, use the surrounds. That'll help slow the golf ball down. Right. Generally speaking, I'd use my most lofted golf club as well because it is pretty slick down there. So I'd try to land the ball just over this longer part of the grass here and let it run all the way down to the target. Okay, so the first thing I'll do is have a couple of practice swings to see where the club's going to brush the ground. And you can see it's consistently hitting near that back foot. So I'm going to put the ball a little bit more back in my stance. Grip down on the club. So I've got a little bit more control of the club. So from that position, I'm going to make a nice smooth swing and keep the club low on the way through. Oh. Nice, nice chip. Not bad. All Thank yours. You. A couple of little practice swings. Get nice and narrow in your stance. Lean into your left side. Perfect. A 
looks pretty handy. Oof. Thanks, well Craig. done. Very good. Not a problem at all. Finally, we come to the 18th, and it's named after Michael Scott, who won four Australian amateur titles before the First World War. <laughs> Good story. It's a great way to finish a round of golf. It's a 404 metre par four. You've got some tricky fairway bunkers on the left, and you've got a really tricky green, which is just in front of the clubhouse. A perfect way to finish the day. Good luck, Fade. Great shot. Good shot. It's all come down to this. We're all square and Fade needs this part to square. Ooh, unlucky Fade, unlucky. Great game mate, well played. Eh? A win to Mira. So Mira, what'd you think of the legends? Loved it, legendary. Every hole, distinctly different and dedicated to a legend. The houses too, the way they integrate around the course was really, really special. Certain country states tend to do those a bit louder. Victoria, you know, they, 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 it's integrated just really nicely right into the action. Yeah. Right into the whole course. The 16th green. Have you ever seen a bigger green in your life? You know those legends again, you talk about the legends, you, you, you play Greg Norman, you play Aaron Badley, or, 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 you, you actually think you're them for a second, don't you? Don't you? Here's to the legends. Cheers. Cheers. Well, there it is. I'm Andrew Mira McComb. And I'm Sean Fade Fame. We hope you enjoyed watching Moonar Lynx, the legends, <laughs> as much as we did playing it. For more videos, special offers and information, go to golfgetaway.com.au or like us at facebook.com forward slash golfgetawaytv. Bye for now. <laughs>